Today's video is how to remove the plastic junk from your French doors. Since before we even moved into the house, we noticed that our French doors were actually just a, like a plastic frame that was placed onto a solid sheet of glass. This is the cheap way of making French doors. Traditional French doors have tiny panes of glass that you have to wash individually and it's very annoying. So this had all the annoyance of a real set of French doors without any of the classy wood and glass. We've got these French doors and we can't stand the little tiny window panes. And it turns out what they're just made of, like all this part here, this is all just plastic. So we're using a hot knife. We're heating up a knife with the micro torch and we're gonna cut all that off there and make it easy to clean. And then we can add some, uh, 3M makes a window protection plastic that you can adhere to the window and it makes it really hard to smash in your door. Okay, dude, there's mosquitoes flying around me. How you attract the bugs? You just stand still. Yeah. Make sure they're not Are you making you. a video? No. I have kilt. So we hated it ever since we moved in and we thought, gosh, I wish we could just take those stupid things off the glass and just be able to see right out the doors to our lovely green backyard. Ta-da! The trick here is to turn on the torch, heat up the knife. We reviewed the options of having somebody come out and do the French doors and we think it was gonna be about $400, maybe more. Somebody has to come out and remove the frames with the plastic from the doors. Uh, so they have to put those wood molding around the outside. Well, my husband did a bunch of investigating online. There we go, right through. It went right through. We found that you could cut away the plastic part and leave the glass alone. Okay, ready? Look. Okay, so we gotta do this. And this one, and both the other sides, that's four sides, and then we gotta do the other doors. We used a butane micro torch. You can get the cans of butane at the camping supply. Okay, I don't count how many seconds, but. Got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. You can get about halfway through it, then you gotta heat it again. Wait, wait. These doors look fabulous now. Got it. Thank you. Fireworks show. That knife is still good and hot. You just press it straight through that plastic. You'll see, it's not that hard. The ones inside are uh... It helps to have another person holding this because then it goes a lot quicker. What a great project. And we could go further and grind off the little remaining kind of stumps around the edge of the window frames, but they're not bothering me that much right now. Maybe eventually we'll want to take off the molding around the doors and replace that. That is actually something. Excuse me. I'm making a video here, Tika. So it's basically garden fencing. Are you done? So what you need for this project is one micro torch, or if you're a hobbyist or you feel like spending the extra money on a tool just for this, you can buy a hot knife. You could buy an electric knife that heats up and that will make your project go so much faster. Eat a sharp knife that you aren't particularly fond of in case you can't get the plastic back off it after you're finished. We haven't even tried yet. And be sure that the handle is not metal or you will burn the out of your hand. Be very careful. The tip of the torch is like 12 to 1400 degrees, somewhere in that range, I guess. It's very, very hot. And we don't want you to go to the burn unit. Burns hurt. So do skin grafts. Who will need window cleaner because once you get those off your windows, you will find that there is scuzz that's been building up under those window frames the whole time that they've been on your doors. 
we went through probably three or four razor blades because the people before us had tried to patch where their dog had broken the window frames with we don't even know what it didn't seem to be caulking because it wasn't rubberized it was more like very hard cement or stucco like i don't even know what they had pushed in there so much more light i mean i don't know how much of the window was actually blocked by these window frames but it seems like so much more light is coming in and the view of the outdoors is really so much better and more inviting when you see it also the height of the doors the doors now look they're full eight or ten feet tall however tall these doors are they're like eight or ten feet tall but you can actually see how tall the doors are now and how large the room is it really like it brings your eye up in the room to kind of get a a better view of the space it's hot too Hey. Hot knife through plastic. Let's see, it was broken. Yep. Stupid Great Dane. Yeah, this disgusting, slobbery Great Dane had lived here. What are you doing? Checking out your new garden, Benzie? Yeah. So this part is removable, but we're not ready to replace all that. So the first thing we're just going to do is take off the center portion and then just deal with it for a while like that. And then eventually we can replace this framing part when we're ready to really tear the door apart and spend some money. So we were totally stoked by this project. It was really, really easy and everybody pitched in. So yeah, to replace the grids, he said was about $400, but we don't want grids on there. So he can easily cut frames and put a new frame on here after we rip the frames off. But for now, we're just gonna get the nasty plastic lattice off here. Why do they use plastic? It's so cheapy. Well, they used to use individual panes of glass. Our other house had individual panes and it was a wood frame. Right, but that was a, our other house was done with nicer finishes than this house. I mean, our bathroom in the other house was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it was just in the wrong part of town. It just wasn't as safe as it is out here. You had like 10 square feet of property, though. That's why we started looking in the first place. Well, yeah, we looked for an auxiliary property. We were going to have two properties but we didn't find a property that was just right. Hold on to this thing. Hold on, what thing? The lattice? The grid. Is it about it's to come, come off? off. Okay. Now we gotta do the inside. And then we gotta do some plantings. Oh yeah, we bought some trees. Satisfying? No, this is so much cooler in the house. Yeah. This is cutting so much more slowly. What do you even call those? Are they window frames? I mean, they're not window frames. It's just like a plastic. It takes a regular good looking door and ruins it. So if you want to get very fancy with it, you can get yourself a Dremel set and you can grind down each of those nubs. Now that's a project for us in the future, but this project costs us a total of zero dollars and zero cents and then window cleaner if you don't have window cleaner in your house maybe you shouldn't have a house and a rag now get to work it feels bigger in here because that's before after do this do we just take this outside and see what it looks like because that's going to be really cool look at what a difference just being able to see is Beautiful. it just it's really dry. brightens we can grind those smooth. Yeah. Nah, I would, I would definitely Dremel these because um, filing is just awful. And it's plastic. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just clean up the nubs. But for the most part, you don't really notice them right off the bat.
Now, are people just gonna walk straight into that class? <laughs> -da -da. Oh, that's beautiful. I freaking love it, guys. Need more? It's out. No. Okay. Apparently we are their favorite TV show. <laughs> Take a hike. Don't block the more attractive now. I've got to go help plant some trees. Do you care? Nope. So I want to put one here. Okay. That's going to grow up. To cover this ugliness back here and the noise factor. My Rose of Sharon. What do you want? What do they call that again? Althea. Althea. Or. So what do you need us to do? Why am I standing here? I talked him into buying me the Rose of Sharon today pretty expensive, but it's such a pretty tree. And we got these. Thanks, chickens. That's where they took the pomegranate tree out. And we have some helpers here. Do your work there, see that? They love it when they find some loose dirt to play in. That noise there is exactly why we're planting trees here, to suck up some of that noise. We don't like noise. Vitex Agnes Castus. What? You let the you let gravity take it. Look at all the roots. What? Okay. Put it in there. And we more compost. Or more Move, compost. Dude. Bunny poop compost. You go all the way around it. What is she doing? You're just hitting the dirt. Thanks, guys. We got an amazing pile of work done today. We got the final number six bunny cage hung up, uh, planted three trees, got the lattice off two of the doors, two of the four doors in the back. He fixed the pantry support. We got a whole big pile of stuff taken at charity. And they wanna know when um, they're gonna celebrate my birthday. Yay! Um, that's the family. Yeah, the kid's grandma just sent me a message. Interesting. So, when do you think we should celebrate my birthday online? We should have an online birthday celebration, don't you think? Yeah! I mean, why not celebrate getting older? Is this driving you crazy? Woo! I'm still loving our free rocking chair project. We did awesome. Just, I have six lemon trees and no greenhouse, so I really want to do the greenhouse project, but that's going to cost some bucks, so we got to kind of plan that one out. We're going to build it, same basic structure as the bunny barn was built. Do it yourself. And we're going to have to take out a garden bed to do it, and that's going to be hauling a ton of dirt out of there. What else? So we got two chased trees. Um, they called it a... Texas something or other. And we got one Rose of Sharon put in. Bee food. Not me, for the bees. The bee, I also call my husband bee. Long story. Not even interesting. I can't believe the way this door looks. I mean, isn't that crazy? Isn't that something else? Like it just totally, it makes it look so much more simple and classy and minimal. We like the minimal. I think that's all the projects we did today. Oh, 
We also took the truck through a drive-through car wash, which we don't normally do. We normally wash the car ourselves, but hadn't washed it since Colorado. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a blast today, like we are. And we went to, oh, I went to Daiso. I had to buy some art supplies for my art students. And that is a, always a ball. And the prices are amazing. And you can get really like, the paintbrushes are awesome from Daiso. And they're, you get five for $1.50. And I was totally stoked. And we're talking about artists. We're talking about watercolor brushes. Those can be pretty pricey. So got a ton of supplies for the kids. And I start my new group of classes on Tuesday. Now I just need some more kids. Kids? Did that sound? Did that? I sounded funny. Did I sound funny? I think I sounded funny. Anyway, uh, great day was had by all. Bunch of chores. Got them all done. Check it out. Give me a thumbs up. Watch all my other videos because they're awesome. There's like 500 videos out there that have mostly never been seen and they are truly awesome. So um, trust me, they're great. See how broken up that is? And there's like all kinds of dirt and junk in it. Can't wait to get this off here. Glad you're here to share this project with us today and give me a like. Hmm, no, that sounds dumb. I always appreciate your likes, your subscribes, and when you ring that bell, you will be notified of the next time a video comes out. So please go ahead and ring that bell so I can get more views and make more money. Okay, leave me a comment below and I look forward to hearing from you. Mosquitoes, ugh. Okay, bye. Are, are, you, are you still watching? It's over.